Hello, Ms. Lee. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. John 8, verse 32, real quick. Because Ghana don't know the truth. For false too long, the truth has been missing in Ghana. That's why the prophet of the Lord, we are here to give you people the truth according to the Bible. Read. John chapter 8, the verse 32. Come on. And ye shall know the truth. And ye shall know the truth. The people of Ghana, God is saying, you shall know the truth. Come on. And the truth shall make you free. And the truth shall make you free. What, what's one of the truth? The destruction of Jesus Christ. Right. The so-called white man came and gave us white image. Christ, Jesus Christ has never been white. Right. All through the Bible, the prophets are all black men according to the Bible. That's right. Who's translating? You can translate. Translate. Okay. It's in the Bible, the church has said, Yes, you Christian, but too, too many. Right. There's nowhere in the Bible, I'm going to say yes, we are going to There's nowhere in the Bible. It's about the church here. The reason why I say yes, we are too, too many. Because when you go to the church, they gave you this image. Lift that up. They gave you this image in all the churches in Ghana. They gave you this image. What this image brings? When you look at this image, you see the so-called white man, you think he's God. But he's not God. You understand? We are gods. You understand? When you see your friend, your brother, know that he is God. You understand? We are made in God's image. Black. You understand? When you look at the sword, the deeper you go, the darker it gets. But the white man come and lie to the whole continent and give us what? White image. Tell us that angels are white. Tell us that God people are white. No, 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 no. We're going to prove that the so-called white man is a liar according to the Bible. You understand? Give me uh, Genesis chapter 1, read verse 26 real quick. Genesis chapter 1, read verse 26. The book of Genesis chapter 1, the verse 26. Translate first. Now your church and it said, your Bible church according to Bible, Say now, your father, your forefathers, no, any Jesus Christ, no, or here. It's your code Genesis. Your Bible can can Genesis at Right. Read. Genesis chapter 1, the verse 26. And God said, Let us make man in our image. God said, Let us make man in our image. Read that. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. Now, when you book, I said, Woman, you only put away in super so say, and says, so let's see how he make man. Because he said, let us make man in our, in our image. You understand? An image is something that looks just like you. Right. When you take a picture, a picture, your picture will look exactly like you. So right. let's see what color the first man was. Translate. Uh, yeah, yeah, but the Bible, first man you the color, the skin color, according to the Bible, send it here. It's a Bible king came out. Read verse 20, uh, 2, verse 7. Genesis chapter 2 and the verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. You see that? Hey, everybody listen, 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 listen. The Bible said God formed man of the dust of the ground. The dust of the ground is now white. Right. It's not white at all. The so-called woman lied to us, but it's the it's, it's the, all that last will come to an end. You understand what I'm saying? Listen, listen carefully. Read that one more time. Genesis chapter two, the verse seven. Uh -huh. And the Lord God formed man. And the Lord God formed man. What color was that man? Read that. Of the dust of the ground. Of the dust of the ground. What color is the dust of the ground, my brother? Right. Right. Yeah. Say that one more time. That's good. God formed men of the dust of the ground. And God said, let us make men in our image. So what color is God if the dust of the ground is black? Exactly. Exactly. So now, let's read that one more time. Genesis chapter 2, the verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. So now, get me? we're going to go to the prophets. The prophet in the Bible and see what color they are. You understand? Let's go to... Uh, Sons of Solomon, one. Yes. Read verse one. Actually, let's go straight to the point. Yeah. What about white men? What about white men? That's a good question. What about white men? How they came into existence? Let's get that. Genesis 25, verse 20. Uh, start at verse 21, real quick. Read it out. The book of Genesis. And real quick, come, 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 come. Hey, yeah, listen, 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 listen. He asks about the white man. My, my thing is, why are we over here worried about the white man? Trust me. Now, besides, any other baby said, okay, I said, what about the white man? Obonin swear, 
on us we fa na 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 ni fa she e wo wo bible no on us we wa na na e ba ba church no according to bible e ba ba church no do the white men worry about us yes see o bro ni no dwene e wo na abro fo dwene e wo na so why are we worry about them ti ade na e wo ha e ba ba bisa se o ta bo o bro ni no bring it on ni e ho ade ti na e dwene o mo you see how destroy we are as a people we worry about the oppression, but the oppression don't worry about us. You understand that? Yeah, they be only a group of fun. We saw a group of fun who are more junior. We share a group of fun who are more junior. And we are more junior. We should be only a junior. I didn't see that. Bring it up. Why? Why are you worried about them? You should worry, be worried about your own people. Right. You understand that? That's how destroyed we have become. You understand? So we we will answer your question. Read that. Then I shall translate first. Okay. Uh, I can't say what I'm saying. The Bible church of Bebia, Obronin, Abronin, Bebia, and Chapa, our Bible. Bebia, a free our Bible. Obronin, you want to say Bible church. Read. Genesis chapter 25 and the verse 25. Everybody, listen up, listen up. We are about to read about Obronin, the white man. Right. Listen up, real quick. Come on. The Bible church of Bible, we must say Obronin, Bebia, the fact that free our Bible, and Bebia, we are going to say our Bible. We are going to say our Bible. Genesis chapter 25, the verse 25. And the first came out red. No, 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 start to 21. Okay. Genesis 25 and the verse 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord was entreated of him. And, be, and Rebecca, his wife, conceived. And the children struggled together within her. So the two children, two children struggle. That's what? That's all. Jacob and Esau, they struggle. You understand? Within right. her womb. Translate. And the Bible look at Isaac. Na Rebecca and you. Now, my mother, you know, my mother, no more bread, no more food, no more food. It's the answer. Verse 22. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, If it be so, why am I doubt? So Rebecca, she said, Ever be your will, if it be so, Lord, why why am I going through all this pain? Why am I going why the, why is so much pain? And she's and she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. See? She said, Two nations. Two nations. Jacob and Esau. Two different people. You understand? Are in your womb. Come on. And she never wanted to change herself. But uh Nagu Ponga Chen said, and perform me a man for a man me and look how we and the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from the bow. Two manner of people, this people and this people, they will be separated. They're not the same at all. Right. We are different than them. We are stronger. We are smarter. You understand? We are totally different. Translate. And two manner of people shall be separated from their bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people. You see that? It said one people, which is this, shall be stronger than the other people. You understand? We are stronger than them. You understand what I'm saying, right? We all. Come on. And in the Bible, the church says, "Yen yehu adi, esi abrofuono. Yen yehu adi, esi abrofuono." In Timothy two, and the elder shall serve the younger. You see, and the elders shall the elders shall serve the youngest. Come on. And I just said, "Penino we bano, no we serve the body kutuano." And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, so when she was about to give birth, then in time you would do as a bano. Behold. There were twins in her womb. Come on. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. You see that? And the first came out red. You see that? A brony. And yet, and yet uh, he's not black at all. First came out red all over like a hairy garment. Come on. Translate that. Baba first, you know. But they were now considered brony catcher. I consider brony catcher so I am white. You know But I shall be now. So I say white, I won't wear any powers as the color of white tea. That be or a red man. Right. You see that? We call them white people. Mm -hmm. But look, look at this, look at this. Yo, this paper, that's white. Have you seen anybody that look like that? No, 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 no. Come, come, real quick, come. 
This shirt, this, this, this color, that's, which color is this? It's, do the white man look like that? He do not. The right. Bible call him a red man. You understand? Right. Hey, you understand that, right? Good. Translate. Say what I say. Say, can say what I want to be on the midbar tag in the X channel now. If you have no rights as this one, the color of white say. But when you do Bible now, you see on the body. Why you call call? You tell your friend I can see for me. Why are they on them? Genesis 25, the verse 25. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. See that? Red, red, red. All over. From head to toes. Red. Come on. Why are you red? Because of so you know you are. Bro, it's with you. Put you. So you have to put an answer. Or you have to be in a room for one hour, bro. But you have to say that the color of everybody. It's say red. Right, you know, you're white. See that? Because, because of their, their, their complexion, they cannot stand the sun. You understand? Want to be in the sun too long to get cancer. But you are the original people of the earth. You understand? That's why your, your body adapts to the what? To the earth. The earth was made for your sake. Right. No, I see. We are not going to be in the sun. But I see for one hour. It's my skin cancer. My skin cancer. That's so what I said. But we hate ourselves, we start to bleach our skin. Our people bleach their skin. Our people put wigs on their head. Just to look like them. Bleach their skin. Our people bleach their skin and put wigs on their head. Just to look like them. That's hatred. You understand? Hatred. But the Bible says what? Christ is the black man. The That's Jews right. are black. So right. why are we hating ourselves? Why are we bleaching our skin? Why are we putting wig on our head? That's self hatred. That's well, because I must say, and I ain't even any papano. It's a my, I must have some other body. Oh, my, you could my, you could not wear my because of every team say Jesus Christ. Oh, you're right, you know. It's not a brother, send his sisters, and we are the body. Oh, my poor, no, no. Hey, Jimmy, because of what? Low self esteem, I don't know. So what I say? That's right. Free. And they call his name Esau. See that they call his name Esau. You understand? Read. And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold of Esau's heel. Come on. And his name was called Jacob. You see that? They gave the description of this man, but they didn't give the description of this man. Why you think? Why is that? Because everybody else looked just like him. Right. You remember? Genesis 2 and verse 7, God make man of the dust of the ground, everybody was black. So when you go to Genesis 25, that's the introduction of the so-called white man. The red man. Right. See, from beginning, you know, now you know everybody, you are black. Right. But man, you know everybody, you know different when you came. You say, you know, 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 you you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, it's all, all praises to the Father. All praises. Now let's go. Let's see. Let's see color of the Jews. The Jews. I see a shade Jew for them. So Jesus Christ, or you are of Jew that will so come on. Yes, where the Bible said about it. Come for Jew for them. Read the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, the verse 2. So we we about to see what color are the Jews. Come on. Judah uh -huh. and the gates they of language. Come on. They are black. No, they are white. They are black. You see that? I'm looking at the Jews right now. Right. You are the real Jews. Yes, you are. You understand? The Bible said the Jews are what? They are black unto the ground. They are black unto the ground. So you, one more ask yourself. So what about the people in Jerusalem? What about the people in Tel Aviv? Are they the real Jews? You gotta prove it right now. Genesis 2 and verse 7. So what I say? Revelation. Oh, you know, Jeremiah 40 verse 2. Now you follow, see everybody. You have to do this and for that, you know. Yeah, because if you know how to for that, you know. Baby, or a red man. Right. It's a reason, sir. No one more is just as he's used, you know. Oh, my God, I have to. And I'm going to read Let's read, come on. Revelation chapter 2, the verse 9. I know thy works. And tribulation and Look, poverty. So he's saying, I know your works. I know your tribulation. I know your poverty. And God, are we not poor? We are poor people. We are the bottom of society. You understand? We are poor. We are poor. We have a, not, a lot of natural resources. But who come and steal all, all of them? The so-called white man. You understand? So what that leave us? That leave us in poverty. You understand? We are poor people. Read. But thou are rich. He said, but thou are rich. Why are we rich? Because the promise pertained to us. Right. The kingdom of heaven is for us. Right. Right. That's why he said, for you are rich. Translate. I see because scriptures now release you. I see that you know everybody. You know everybody. But I didn't know everybody. Come on. 
And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. Read that one more time. And I know the blasphemy of them who say they are Jews. Blasphemy is lies. So he said, and I know the lies of them which say they are Jews. Who saying they are Jews today? The people in Jerusalem. They're claiming that they are the real Jews. He said, he said, and I know the blasphemy, the lies of them who say they are Jews, but are what? And I not, and are not. They are not the real Jews. You are the real Jews. Right. right. Come on. Right. 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 But are the synagogue of Satan? You see that? But are the synagogue of Satan? All the synagogues of Satan? You are the real Jews. Right. Lied to us for so many years. That's why I say, you shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Because without the truth, you are not free at all. Because you're going to have a white image in your head. You understand? You will look at your brother, you think he's your enemy, but he's your brother. You That's understand? Right. The Bible is for you. What's written by your forefathers. Why, Dano? Or see, do you want to come on, sir? Or so we are the synagogue of Sesta. Say, because the Sesta is what I said. I don't know. Because of what? I'm going to find out about what's up. So we are due for, but we are due for no. So what does it happen? We read it. Zechariah. Chapter 9, the verse 6. Uh -huh. And a bastard, a word, a bastard uh -huh. shall dwell in Hajdat and will cut off the pride of the Philistines. So, this is the people age. Hey, listen, listen, listen. We are talking about the people that's living in the land right now. Check what the Bible says. Come on. And the bastard, a bastard. When you read Revelation 2 and verse 9, according to the devil, the sin God of Satan. Right. In Zechariah, according to him, a bastard. Shall do in, in what? In the land, in Tel Aviv right now. Read it one more time for our people. Zechariah chapter 9, the verse 6. Uh -huh. And the bastard shall dwell in Azad and will cut off the pride of the Philistines. So they are, they are the people that do it in that land right now. You understand? The, the, what the prophecies say that we, the Jews, will be scattered in the four corners of the earth. Right. And that's why we are here in Ghana. Right. To what? Uh, to bring our people back to a rightful mindset of who they are of the people. That's you understand? Right. You're, you're, you're not a Ghanaian. You're not a so called Ghanaian. You're God chosen people. That's right. Oh. Yes. So, because you'll be a pastor, I can say about it. Or stop going to the stairs, you'll know if you are. What are you? I'm going to say, 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 See, I already prophesy now because of you hear the enyaku pon na sense enyaku pon pamu ye ano di omama kugu ya sa sezo. Hey, my brother, come real quick. Let me let me show you something. Re read that one more time. Zechariah chapter nine, the verse six, and a bastard. Pause real quick. What is a bastard? A bastard. If you. Hey, hey. Obi, I'll stop on. Bastard. Somebody is very stubborn, ruffian. Oh, no, 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 no. One more time. Say it again. Ruffian, stubborn. No, no. A bastard or somebody that don't have a, a father. You understand? So, so pay attention. Translate. So read that one more time. Zechariah chapter nine, the verse six. And a bastard shall dwell in Asdod. The people in Jerusalem they don't have a heavenly father. Right. We have a heavenly father. That's why they call them a bastard. Stop. Read. Oh, so I say, I say, I say, I say, I say, only Papa, only Papa, I say, so, but yeah, your yeah, Papa, it's an old tree, so no. So I say, so you as a man, about to go through some laws that you have to keep. You yeah. understand? Because. God, God puts you on this earth to serve Him. Yes. You understand? Right. To do what's required of you. Yes. So now we're going to go into the Bible and show you what you need to do as a man on earth. So I tell you, I see a general boy, or maybe be saying about it, he had this to all of us as a soul. It's a little bit about my mother's channel. It's a boy who has said, I would say, would say, if I say, I'm not going to be my own. Most Ghanaians don't know, that's what we hear. I wish one of you would get a bigger platform. Say that loud. I'm saying that this truth that you are telling us, most of the pastors here in Ghana will not preach about it. You are even mentioning, you have been reading some passages in the Bible that I have not even heard before. But I have been to church for a very long time. So in one of these days, we have to get a bigger platform for about millions of people to educate us. Because we don't know the truth. Most people want to be like the whites. You know, everybody... We are we are modeling we are modeling the rights. Everybody wants to be like that. So this is the truth. This is the truth. I like the fact that you are saying Jesus Christ is a black man. It, it makes me feel proud. Best you
All praise to the front. Right. And come for the brother. All praise to the All praise to the front. So now, like I said, this truth, bro, it will spread. It takes you. You got to be on the side to help your people out. You understand? Because we need men like you to come and help pass our flyers. You understand? So check this out. Hey, my brother, check this out. Read. Let me translate. So I So don't find out what you're saying. Okay. Read. Leviticus 21, the verse 5. So this is some of the laws that you got to keep as a man. Actually, hold what you got. Hold what you got. Give me uh, uh, 1 Kings 2 and verse 1 real quick. Bring it out. Read or uh, translate. So I can say. You can't say that you want to be able 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 to to be now the days of David do not uh -huh. that he should die. So David about to die. Come on. What David? Tell me this about the who is. And John Solomon, his son, saying, I go the way of the earth. Uh -huh. Be thou stronger for. So like you, if you have a son, you're gonna advise your son. You're gonna tell your son, hey, I want you to be strong. You understand? Come on. And show, and show thyself a man. He says, uh, he was telling his son. I want you to show yourself a man. So the question, how can I show myself as a man? That's a question, right? But he said, I said, I said, I to be a man, 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 to How can you become a man, Ghani? How can you become a man? We're going to prove it in the Bible. Read. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God. You see that? He said, keep the charge of the Lord. Come on. To walk in his ways, to keep his status. You see that? To walk in his ways, to keep his statutes. Come on. And his commandments, and his judgments. And his testimonies, as it is written in the law of Moses. So, for you to show yourself a man is by you keeping God's commandment. That's 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 you cannot be a man without keeping God's commandment. So, so, so now, that's it, hey, my brother, my brother. Now we're going to some of the laws that you gotta keep. Uh, Leviticus 21. Read. The book of Leviticus. Chapter 21, the verse 5. Come on. They shall not make burners upon thy head. So I see you have hair on your hair. But for our brothers, God said we should not cut our hair or, or, or uh, how you call it? Sakura. No Sakura. God, yeah, God don't like that. God wants your hair to grow up. You understand? So what I say. Now I'm not saying many you too in Sakura. So what I say. Come on. And they should not make burners upon thy head. Neither shall they shave off the corner of thy bed. You see that? It says you should not shave off the corner of your beard. When you go to the jungle, you see a lion. How do you tell a male lion from a female lion? How can you tell? Exactly, they have a man. So you, my brother, you don't have any. So how can I tell you are a man? You see that? That's what you gotta what? You gotta change. You gotta repent. You gotta be born again. You understand, my brother? I understand. Because there are only two people on earth that don't have no beard of women and children. What do you think? Translate. Come on, Tassie. I see where I'm going to say, who is here? 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 Check this out. Look at him. You don't have no, no beer on his face. He's a child. He's a child. You, you don't have nothing. So what? You look like a child. Child or a woman. Exactly. That's what you got to what? You got to grow that thing. That's right. You got to grow that thing. Right. Hey, look at him. He don't have nothing on him because he's a child. He, they cut his off. What he look like? He look like a child. God don't want that. God wants you to grow your beard so it can be a difference from men and a boy. Translate. So I tell you. Okay. All right. Read. Read now, it again. Let me go to only one. The verse five. They shall not make burdens upon thy head. Neither shall they shave off the corner of thy beard. Nor make any cuttings in thy flesh. See that cutting in your flesh. No. Uh. The herbal. Uh. The tribal tribal marks. God don't want that. You understand? That's tradition of men. The tribal mark. God said you should not do them things. Translate. Chapter Max now, your brothers and sisters, and we are winning. I know my son. I could not say any two idea. Right. So now, are you married? No, no, no. Do you have a, a girlfriend? No, no, no. I'm you, single. 
You know what I mean? No, I'm You're single. Okay. I want to show you how a marriage should be. Because in the world, right, the world teaches you what? Boyfriend and girlfriend. That's not according to God. That's abomination. You understand? Hebrews 13. Yes, sir. Hebrews 13. Read, read that real quick. Verse 5. Yes, Hebrews! Come on, come on. Hebrews chapter 13, the verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. What the Bible said? Hey, Ghana fool, come on, come on. Come listen to the Bible, come on. Hebrews chapter 13, the verse 4. Uh -huh. Marriage is honorable in all. No, boyfriend and girlfriend. Marriage is honorable in all. The Bible said marriage is honorable. You understand that? Translate. Your couple said marriage is so unique. Our real ass so cool, man. So much as here. Come on. And the bed on the fire. But homongers, homongers, a man that go to from woman, woman after woman. Or a woman that goes to men after men after men. Come on. And I don't trust. Uh -huh. God will judge. God will judge people that do things like that. For what? Right. For sickness. Right. You understand that? Translate. We are worry of finding your quality, of finding quality. Your cup of from the body, of from the man both for, of Muslim and your cup of the body, of the kuma mono. First Corinthians chapter seven, the verse two. Nevertheless, check this out, because you're a young man, right? First, I, I want you to understand this. After, after today, right? Are you going to grow your beer out? Yeah, yeah, I'll start going. Okay, because we got to respect what God said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah. Because the Bible said, and for the wages of sin is what? Yeah. It's death. Right. If you keep bringing, breaking God's laws, you will die. Right. The Bible is not a thing for us to joke with. You see, we are at the bottom of society, it's about breaking God's laws. You see the women take all our gold and diamonds? It's because we're breaking God's laws. You understand? So we got to rethink ourselves and change our mindset and come back as a children of Christ, as right. children of Israel. Right. You understand? Finish that. First Corinthians chapter 7, the verse 2. Come on. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication. As a young man, to avoid fornication, check out what, uh, God, uh, what God said. Come on. Let every man have his own wife. Have your own wife. No boyfriend and girlfriend. Yes, you cannot right. find it in the Bible right. at all. It's said to avoid fornication. Because fornication, the result of that is death. Right. So to avoid that, do what? Let every man, every man do what? Have his own wife. Have her own wife. Marriage is honorable. Come on. And let every woman have her own husband. You see that? And every woman have her own husband. Translate. Tell what I said. They're crossing the sea. So you're a singular. The best thing is about everybody. Who can worry? What are they doing? All praises. Do you have any questions? I'm enjoying your. I'm enjoying the teachings, it's very interesting. Oh, person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, it, it, it's interesting. It's interesting. Why? 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 Two, 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 why you didn't know that you got chosen people? Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. I see, I see, I see. Because I, I know. It's because, it's because uh, when you go to the church, uh -huh. the teachings, the basic teachings are not But uh, I do know that these are facts. Because I, 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 I've, been, I've been reading ahead. I normally read philosophical books. I do research and many other things. So when, when I get, get things, I know that you are telling me. You know, but because in it, most people don't tell us this. Right, they, they do not. We we been discontinued from our heritage. So, right. so, so they make us feel inferior. Right, to right. Especially to the whites. Exactly. We are, we are always inferior. And that's why they brought this image. You are, you are, we are always inferior. That's why they brought this image. Yeah. Because right. with the image come another doctrine, yeah. come another philosophy, yeah. come another way of life. Now, some people have them in their church, in their, in their rooms, that they go and pray. Do you know what I'm saying? Bring it up!
let me show you what we gotta do with these images. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Because we shouldn't have these images in our houses, in, in anywhere, in our, our cars. We shouldn't have that. You understand? Yeah, Read. I get, I get, I Check get. that. Deuteronomy chapter seven, the verse twenty-five. The images of their God. The images of their God. Because this is not how Christ look like. Right. You understand? So it's the images of their God. Come on. Shall you burn? So when you go home, if you see that in your house, you burn it. You burn it. That's right. You see that, right? Yeah. Translate for our people. So what I say? Now, Bible is now come on. Say, say me do a any any coupon your Christ. Right. It's what all say me do a be. I will fear. Udi I will pull out. Udi so no. Any coupon so do fear. Shenu ni eja. No ni any coupon. Because you cannot find that in the Bible. Right. You cannot find that. You understand that? Doing, doing our colonization, they came and brought this image. You understand? Our, our resources, the resources in Ghana, they took everything. Where's your goal? This place is called the Gold Coast. Where's that sign? This place is called the Gold Coast. Where is your goal? Pastor, we are suffering. Give me the uh, whole what you got. Give me a uh, Durham 28, reverse 30, 30, uh, 32, real quick. See that? This place is, uh, what's it at? What, what does it say? Uh, Judah. Say that one more time. Judah. This is Judah. You understand? The kingdom of Judah. They call it the Gold Coast. Where is your goal? Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, the verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So this is Moses telling our forefathers. If we don't keep God's laws, come on, to observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his status. And my sister, sister, come on. Which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses, see that? If we don't keep God's laws, a curse, curses will come upon us. You understand? Are we cursed today? Uh, we here. Are we cursed today? Yeah. Exactly. Because we didn't obey. Exactly. Right. Because we didn't obey. Right. Come on. All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now I'm giving verse 22. The Torah 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Our sons and daughters, they are men and castle. Our sons and daughters was given, was sold into slavery, was given to another people because we didn't listen to God's word. We didn't want to obey God. That's the, that's the punishment God put upon us. That's right. Come on. And thy eyes shall look and fall with longing for them. Our eyes look. That's what they did, the Dutch, the Portuguese, they built that, that I mean, a castle over there. We didn't have no might in our hands to recover our children back. You understand? Come on. And finally, with longing for them all the day long, uh -huh. and there shall be no might in thy hand. No might in our hands to redeem them. You understand? Uh -huh. Come on. The fruit of their land. The fruit of your land. That's going to your natural resources. Your gold, your diamond. You understand? Your cocoa. The fruit of your land, come on. And all the lovers uh -huh. shall a nation put down no us not it up. See that? We didn't know the so-called white man. You see, a nation which you don't know will come and eat all your resources. They come and take your gold. They come and take your diamond. Right. They come and take your cocoa. Right. They come and take everything right. in this land. Come on. And thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. We are oppressed people. We are continuing to be crushed by the so-called white man. Right, right. Because we broke God's laws. Right. That's what God is calling us now. Give me Hosea 14 verse 1. Hosea 14 verse 1. That's what I say, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Give me that Hosea chapter 14 verse 1. It's time to come back. It's time to come back to who you are as a people. Read that. Hosea chapter 14 verse 1. Hosea chapter 14 verse 1. Oh, Israel, return unto the Lord thy God. Hey, check this out. What God saying? Return unto the Lord thy God. You see that? God is calling the people of Ghana to return to him. God is calling the people of Ghana to return. Read that one more time. Hosea chapter 14 and the verse 1. Come on. Oh, Israel, uh -huh. return unto the Lord thy God. Free. For thou hast fallen. We have done what? But for thou hast fallen by thy iniquity. We have fallen for our iniquity. For our sins, we have fallen. Right. You understand? For our sins, we have fallen. So what can we do now? We have to what? Repent. We have to return to God. We have to return. 
We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.